Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forex pisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, uh, today again we will take a look at the euro currency, so market is gradually waking up from the holidays, um, yesterday's the major markets across the board mostly were thin because it was the holiday in the United States, uh, but right now it's gradually some activity is coming and traders will start the preparation to first major event in the new year, it's the uh, non-farm parochial is on the 6th of the January. Uh, we will return back to the discussion of the tactical situation since this is the daily video. Our long-term view we have posted in the weekly research as usual that we have uh, placed on the farm on the weekend. So uh, if you remember in the weekly research when we are talking about uh, daily chart and intraday charts we mostly were discussed the current retracement and we said that we need to get the clear sign that probably this retracement is over, market is ready to go down. This could take the more pace on the downward action. On the daily chart, uh, we mostly talked about these harmonic retracements that market stand, it keeps very well, so you can see this uh, harmonic spikes, except maybe this one, because that was the election session, it's, it's just brought more uncertainty and the spike was due to the Trump victory here. Uh, but in general, the price action, but it was already later after that retracement has been completed. So here again, the same swing up. Here is again the same swing up. Also, market has reached the daily level, FIB level, and daily average ever body. And we said that this is Chudnapoli directional stretch pattern. That's bearish. And that, in fact, will be the sale for uh, coming week, possible upward action. So market turn down out from there. At the same time the next destination point stands around 1 or 2, 1 or 220 area because this is as you can see 127 extension of the butterfly and this will be 1618 target of our this A, B, C top D pattern. So that's our next target on the uh, daily chart. Uh, also this will be daily ever sold as you can see. That's what we have on the um, uh, daily chart. On the intraday charts, guys, on the 4-hour time frame chart, you could see some kind of the channel that has been broken up. Its target already has been completed, so if you even you will treat it as the double bottom or something of that sort, market already has passed to the upside the same distance as the width of this channel, this, of this range. So it's already has hit its target and has reached the 618 level. So, uh, and due to this action, and due to the picture that we see on the hourly chart, so on the hourly chart we have talked about this ABCD extension and also said that market has completed its target is 1618, right? Right, at the FIB level we said this probably should be sufficient action, should be enough for bearish market, a normal bearish market, so it's normal retracement. And uh, targets have been achieved. Market has reached the resistance and ever, ever bad. So that should be enough to keep any bearish market from further upward action. So sufficient action for retracement. And if euro currency indeed is bearish in the short term, so, so it should start move down out from this resistance. And uh, the major level that we have agreed to watch for is near around one or five. 1 or 8, 85, 1 or 5 area. So that's I even market this number, these markings. Uh, so it's this range of resistance. So because when the market shows some upward action but later returns back in some consolidation where it stands previously, this means it, it, will, it looks like a bearish sign. So if the market returns back to the same consolidation, it means that it will continue to move lower. And it uh, could be the first sign of the possible downward breakout, or at least action to the lower board of the previous consolidation. So uh, currently, guys, it's a bit uh, one tricky moment stance that overall market really thin. 
yesterday and maybe today it's also will be a bit thin uh, and on the thin market it's indeed has happened so as you can see market has dropped and in fact returned back in the same consolidation right now it stands in minor upward bounce this bounce here looks very gradual so we would not see some kind of that action or that action to the upside it's very gradual upward retracement so maybe maybe we uh, could speak about the setup that we have discussed so i mean return back in this consolidation and probably we could try and search the chance for taking the short positions those of you who have taken short last week on this stop it's probably could feel should feel well so you could move your stop to the break and just watch what will happen here guys some kind of the shape of the maybe brand body sell but it's not purely the brand body by the jet napoli because here is more candles stands in upward action right to the major nearest fib level still some of the shape of this pattern maybe will work as the brand body we will see uh, so right now uh, two major levels to watch for the first level is one or five area and next one is market already has dropped below it so next one will be combination of the weekly pivot point and take a look that will be the confidence resistance 105 28 approximately so guys uh if market is really bearish and it has broken already this previous support so return back down now it stands in minor retracement it should not return back above this area because that will be not quite bearish action since it's already has, has, has dropped below the weekly pivot point it will be not quite rational behavior for the any bearish market if it return right back up breaks the confidence resistance on the way up because we already see that a major retracement already has happened so here it should be downward extension starting with the downward extension based on the normal bearer behavior so any significant action above the confidence resistance will be a bit worrying sign so if you remember it was a bit um sophisticated discussion on our uh, vehicle research the hourly picture so we said that market could uh fluctuate around this 618 resistance this area but we said that in a condition that market will not break below first so we said it could stand for some time here maybe even we'll show some abcd action now this will be normal but as market already has dropped below the weekly pivot point it has dropped back in this consolidation so there are new inputs that we should keep an eye on and these inputs are first level and confidence resistance with the weekly pivot so if market is truly bearish it should turn down either here or here if market will return back above this area this will be not quite bearish behavior and it's a bit it, it will mean that we should wait a bit more so if you're intending to go short uh think about the, taking the position somewhere closer to the confidence resistance and weekly pivot point and please stop uh maybe above this level or even slightly higher than that uh, confidence above the 50 percent level here so it should be enough so it will be just positioned with a very small risk uh, that's uh, the attractiveness of the important levels and strong levels because they let you to put stops very close to it and that significantly minimize your risk so uh, that's been said that's our view on current situation in the euro currency let's see how situation will start to develop some activity should return and it's interesting in what direction this activity will return so let's see what we'll get